work done in compressing a gas at constant temperature. Consider new moles of an ideal gas contained in a cylinder closed by a piston. Find the work done that must be done on the gas to compress it very slowly. From some initial volume Vi to final volume V2, V1 to V2, while it's maintained at a constant temperature T. Uh, the work done uh, in a quasi-static process D bar W on an ideal gas is equal to minus the pressure P bar uh, dV and we have P bar V is equal to new RT ideal gas law for new moles of the gas, R is the gas constant. So P bar is related to the volume. It is new RT divided by V. So the work done is minus integral from V1 to V2, P bar dV, it will be equal to minus integral from uh, V1 to V2, a new RT over V, dv it is minus new rt natural logarithm uh, v2 over v1 therefore the total work done on the gas will be new rt natural logarithm v1 divided by v2 because the temperature is constant here uh, we call this isothermal compression of the ideal gas. So once again we have new moles of an ideal gas. Ideal gas law uh, applies. P bar V is equal to new RT. Temperature is constant, isothermal. The work done in compressing it very slowly, so it's a quasi-static uh, process. Quasi-static. So in the quasi-static process, the work done on the gas, d bar w, is minus p bar dv. And p bar is related to the volume as nu rt over v. So we substitute and integrate from initial state to final state, v1 volume to v2 volume. Uh, and we find that it is nu rt natural logarithm v1 over v2.